Wrapping a nine-day ministry in the Philippines, Elder Neil L. Anderson enjoyed spending the weekend with a tabernacle choir at Temple Square. The choir has arrived in Manila as part of their world tour, a first in this Southeast Asia country. Having the choir here in the Philippines is almost as a new chapter for the church. There's tens of thousands who will come with the members to see the choir. The choir's kickoff concert was attended by leaders in the business community. It was breathtaking, and everyone who was in there, who were the dignitaries and the well-known here in the Philippines, they were absolutely enthralled by the experience. On the eve of Elder Anderson's departure, the choir performed at the University of Santo Tomas, with attendees from the university, along with friends from various beliefs and faith traditions. The interfaith event featured a variety of sacred music. The choir brings to the church a clarity of our faith in Jesus Christ. When they sing about Jesus Christ, no one in their right mind could say, these people don't believe in Jesus Christ. They believe in Him totally and fully. That is very important. Hi, and it's such an honor to meet you. Among the many guests was the Archbishop of Manila. It's very amazing how music can actually make us feel closer to one another when actually we should uh, be so because we are all our brothers and sisters. Music lets us know we have so much more in common than we have that divides us. Believers know that love for others is ultimately love for God and service to Him. In Him and for Him, people of faith are becoming one. We had four beautiful students, a Muslim, a Buddhist, a Catholic, and a Latter-day Saint who gave prayers. Prayer has been my anchor, steadying me through life's tumultuous waves. It's more than a ritual, it's a profound connection. The music itself expresses the hope that uh, we need in order to survive in this world we can stay hopeful that our world will uh, become better, we can work harmoniously. These are a believing people. They're gracious, they're kind. I can't finish without saying we never leave the Philippines without loving them even more.